Hi guys, I um, would like to walk you through my filing system. People from Windows are coming to Linux and the first time they say, oh my God, what's this file system like? Where is my program files? Where are the files from the user, etc., etc. Lots of questions about the file system. So there's some kind of hierarchy in there and it's called the FHS. So this is the link, um, file hierarchy standards. If you Google it, you'll find it. I'll put it underneath the video. And this is actually a good thing to have it open while I'm showing um, my system and talking about all the folders. So in here, you'll find introduction, purpose, purpose of the root system, the bin file, essential user com command binaries and so on. So it's a lot of um, info that's in here about your system. Why is it this organized like this and what's in there? So I'm gonna talk less um, theoretically and more have a look at what we use on Arch Linux and Arch Linux, what I use um, the most, where I never come in and stuff like that. So that's the link. I'll put it here. So welcome to the ISO builder. That's a control alt T. There's a control alt enter and that's alacrity. Super shift enter. Let's have a look. We go to the computer system, to the file system, and this is our structure. The structure is different from the Windows structure, obviously. Now, the bin, let's start with that one. The bin is the binaries, and you see there is a kind of arrow in there. It can actually have a look, properties, and see where it's pointing to. It's pointing to uh, user bin. So everything that's, and that might be different in other distributions. I'm of course focusing myself on Arch. So if we click there, we actually go to user bin. Okay, so it's a fake folder. Yes, it's kind of a fake folder, just points to somewhere else. User bin is over here. So in this folder are all the things the system needs, the binaries, applications like LS is gonna be in here. LS block is also a good one we use from time to time. List the CPU. So all, the, all of these things are things you can actually type. List an LS PCU, um, right, CPU is better. So lots of information and commands are in there. Maybe this is the timing to tell you that whatever command you type and whatever scripts you type, you can always try and see, did the developer, did the programmer add this to the list? So it gives you information, help, right? Minus, minus H or dash dash help in long. Plus the manuals, some of them make manuals. So LS CPU, let's have a look. Yeah, so display information about CPU architecture. Sometimes I see an application and I wonder, what does that do? That what if is so easy with a man. Hopefully, right? Hopefully, <laughs> not always. They tell you what it does. Or sometimes it's so technical that I say, oh my God, whatever, I don't know. So, but that's the point. Read, it's all there. You don't need to go to internet. It's there, just type help or the man. All right. Uh, often the, the most the thing that I say the most is Pac-Man, right? P people have asked questions about Pac-Man. Okay, so type help and start reading. So we have this. Okay, fine. How about an H behind it? We have this. Okay, again a bad option. So I guess it's gonna be the man of Pac-Man that you need to go and read, read, read. I, uh, I may have read it 15 times already in my life, all right? So it's, it, you forget and you go back and you read. Don't, don't need to ask anybody on Telegram, on Discord, on Facebook. No, it's there, it's available. You just gotta read it. And remember it, but that's, that's old age, I guess. So 
go back, go back. The binaries are there. Fine, Joop, we go there. Boot. Boot, we use sometimes, well, first of all, know what you do, because if you mess with these files, you can't boot up again. And sometimes we get that mid update, we stop the machine and these files are missing. Yeah, you can't boot up anymore. And grub is there, so the lines you see, grub, when you boot up, that's that. If you want to change things, um, there are two commands that actually have impacts on this that we use quite a lot without knowing, of course, because the system, well, is, is maintains itself, right, so to speak. Because when we type an update, for instance, one of the things is a sudo make init cpio minus capital p for example or a minus p and then say linux because that's the only preset there is um, then when you do that you'll see things change up here so these lines we've all seen them but did you ever take notice that actually these lines are going into boot in its ram file fallback so this one um oh it's already gone Wow, that's fast. New ISO builder, I'm amazed. So this thing, maybe we see growth in size. Here it goes, already done. Oh my God, fine. <laughs> so not much to see, but this is changed. Same goes for update grub, also a command we use quite often. And then it's going to check out and change all these things in grub. There's no need to do anything manually, it will change it itself via etc default grub that's the only file we can use and change as user and then whatever changes here you need to change the well run the updates grub otherwise nothing happens you haven't updated anything unless you do this update grub it's an alias aliases update grub so I'm talking about structure, but also about the, the real commands that affect it, that we use all the time. In etc. or etc, um, there's a lot. That's all about configuration files. And if you go again to the file here, to the, the page, there we find etc or etc, host specific system configuration. And you can have a look at the purpose. So lots of elements in there, lots of passwords in there as well. Profiles are in there, shells are in there, fine. So basically lots of configuration for all kinds of things. Let's talk about things. Bluetooth can be set here, main config, right? When I made a video, we had to add something at the bottom. Today, we don't need to add it at the bottom anymore. And that's Linux, everything changes and that's fine, it's cool, as long as our music is crystal clear on our Bluetooth devices, we don't care. So if Pacman gives us a new, well, no, again, if the maintainer changed the Pacman, this main conf file, Pacman will make a new file with the new settings. So it will not override your settings, it will just make one next to it telling, showing, hey, I have a new thing and something may have been changed. This, for example, I want this to be auto, sorry, auto enabled. So I have immediately connection to my Bluetooth settings and standard, it's not. So these little things are things that you change yourself on the machine. What else? I start reading it one by one. There is a Calamaris folder in here just to, well, test something out. I have here a Calamaris folder that's for, um, well, installing our systems. Chromium is here. Cron maybe, maybe something about Cron. Cron is a application that can run your scripts, your personal scripts maybe at a certain well, with a certain time interval. And when you put it here, it's gonna be weekly, monthly, hourly. And it's of course, it needs to be that, oops, sorry. It needs to be here 
um, so sudo pacman minus s chrome not sure if I've installed it it is part of time shift so yeah it's in installed as a dependency I mean then part of so you can then execute and there is a system D I think for, for it but the, it would go too far to <laughs> go in all these details but um, Chrome fine Chrome is there brr, brr, brr. what else so the default is an important one grub is here if you want to change anything grub that's there we go to mm -hmm. grub D no keep out not necessary or age block maybe um, we have an application that actually stops people from from uh, uh, having all these well spammers and all that websites that are really wrong to to a, a visit um, and they call it again yeah well a lot of of rubbish websites <laughs> let me call it like that rubbish websites what do we mean because I ran hblock the hosts file this one contains all kinds of block so zero 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 means well it's an IP address and it's it's void it's empty so when I want to go to big life six I will not be able to because it's blocked it can't be visited all the trackers are here all the spammers all the the rubbish websites and lots and lots and lots of rubbish, rubbish websites exist are blocked because of the fact that we have hblock active and if you want to say oh no that's a mistake hblock you should allow for example analytics google a marketing platform google then it's allowed and you can delete it and it's not allowed anymore and deny list so allow and then deny and you are good to go uh, what else um what, only the things i use right where i go in from time to time lightm if we had lightm back then we go to lightm.conf and we might go to lightm gtk greeter.conf so the configuration i want to log in with etc etc all this is explained in videos from the past at this point in time we are on sddm so what else make any cpi the there's our linux presets so i just told you that command this one i could type p linux and that's why the name right why is eric typing linux because it says linux preset that's why i'm typing it that's all the only reason okay done again quite fast again amazed mod probe is something we've done and set up to some of them anyway not all of them to have um, no sounds when we beep all the beeping on the things are, are gone when the computer boots up Scale. <laughs> this folder is mentioned in so many videos guys when you break your system bspwm you love it you were, were changing things or dwm even more difficult maybe in changing everything and it breaks this is your safeguard this is your backup this is the correct configuration always so if you copy paste this over and you can do it like this control c control v but you can also type the words of the four letters scale and everything from here is in the home directory and you can boot up again but scale has been covered trust me just youtube channel from other linux and type scale you will find hmm, hundreds of videos i think this is something i would like to include not to change something but to analyze something maybe windows has services running in the background right um the same applies here there are things running systemd and system 
And here we have the Pac-Man init service. We have the VN stat D running. We have default target, well, SDDM. How do I know that? Right mouse click, properties. It goes to, mm, can't read it, yep. It goes to graphical target. So it's all linked, it's all telling the system, go to the user lib system D system graphical target. It makes sense and it's, not something you gonna change sometimes it's a more already an, an administrative job being here changing things but it's important and here's the crony service ah it's running okay fine cool and the pac-man in its service it's running as well i have snap on this machine snap d there's also team viewer on this machine and vmware on this machine and i think q as well the Q thingy QMU well might have deleted it don't see it so all these these elements these services I would call it services they call it services as well are running in the background and from time to time they'll clean something up or they will check something and um, so yeah that's as a system developer that's something to to, to be that you should look at and there are people on Erklings iso.com starting their carly alci.online starting their own machine their own distro that's an important file uh, for a folder all the rest i just skip i'm here already vmware no i've installed it but shouldn't go in there x11 might be an important thing um not for me so much as you see that's quite empty but there might be issues with your driver and uh, you might read somewhere that you need to add a an, an file in there and uh, then you will be, be able to boot up. There are some things in here. This one is an interesting one. That's control alt backspace. Control alt backspace. It kills whatever host you have and you're at SDDM or LightDM or GDM, you're back to login. So that's something we've put there ourselves. XDG is an important one in the sense that there are some things started automatically and you wonder why. Well, first of all here, <laughs> okay. So you, I, I show you everything, I mean, I've got cinnamon on my machine. I've got gnome on my machine. <laughs> there are no, this, this is full transparency, right? <laughs> XFC is there. Um, yeah, it's the ISO builder, right? I've built so many things on here and then you try this, you try that. And all of this is there and present, but it will not be present on your machine. It will be different. It is in fact some kind, oh, Let's have a look, what do they say? It's in fact some kind of um, check. If there is no, nothing available, if you don't give anything, no XDG, ah, oh, that's too bad. So X11, you can read this one at, at least. So the XORG configuration, as you see, it normally finds everything itself. I read somewhere that XORG will just find whatever it needs, but sometimes you do have to uh, do something manual. So nobody says anything about this. That's too bad. Or am I mistaking? No, not on that page anyway. So Reflector, for example, has a configuration in here. So if you don't tell anything, if just type Reflector, it's going to use these. So it's a kind of fallback for configurations and settings and so on. So ETC XDG is something to watch out for because I say, hey, why is this started? Why, 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 why? This is also a folder, not the one on your own directory in the config. Auto start, I think that's the most common uh, looked at, I hope, right? That this, this is surely to be started at every boot but there's also this kind of ETC XDG that might intervene, might, um, yeah, 
might also start it. What else? Files, 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 important files. Or devrel, if that's missing, I think it will be less and less common. When we do, when we type ISO, all we do is go to the etc dev rel and get some stuff out and print it. That's it. So if you got on, get an error, that's because you don't have this file. It's just a um, script we created and this ISO has been built on 15 July 2020-01. This original ISO from a year ago so keep rolling guys no need to do a clean install keep rolling but i get it sometimes you break things and then you start to fresh and that's good as well fs step is quite important don't go in there just uh, willy-nilly without knowing anything uh, but this this contains your your system this is my boot efi this is my root and that's the temp folder so i don't have any any uh, swap as you can see I don't need it, I have 32 gigabytes. What else? I go over group and all that because, hey, you're not supposed to go in there. Here are some standard files, so if you don't say anything to the system, it will take that one. Some configuration, where should you get its files, right? Make package configuration is an important one. That's where you define who you are. Let me see if I can show you that. Because there can be something personal in there as well. No, that's okay. Yeah. So I was just going to check. This is my GPG key to sign everything. So I've made myself I'll change this to John Doe, I think it stands, it says first. So I told him, me, I'm the packager, Eric Dubois. So every package you make, you can see it in PAMAC. And you immediately know who made it. Eric Dubois, ericdubois.gmail.com. So that comes from here. And then some extra things we want to have maximum threats, all threats working. In my case, that's now 16. And the package extension is star ZST and the source is that. And then we have covered everything that's important in this file. So that's to make packages. Not everybody makes packages. Pseudo pacman minus S. That's how we install things. Again, pacman sent me something, an update, right? So the these Hmm, good thing. What package, what package sent me this? Who's responsible for that package? Pseudo pacman minus Q O make package. Who sent me this? Oh, it's the pacman package. So pseudo pacman minus S pacman will provide this file. And that's how we learn these things with commands Q O. What else? We are here. Huh? Mm -hmm. Here is a make initcpio.conf. Important to put it to Perl again. Why? Colors are important, the rest is just rubbish. So these are my hooks. Sometimes people say you should add this or this or that to the hook. Uh -huh. Here are the hooks. So Peter Pan is hidden away in make initcpio.conf. Change it, save it. Sublime text ask you the root password and then you save it this one has changed so maybe it's a good thing we should say something about it it's um, a quick way to get a resolution to know which IP address to ping for example ping telenet the guys from Belgium will know what telenet.be is and it quickly finds it and it goes actually through all these it's also important for people with NAS servers on their own system, so you can find your system um, while your computer's around you. So that's 
and a switch. It's Thursday, I don't know if you hear the siren. Testing all the sirens. Could be, could be. A... Oh, pacman.conf, right? Whoa, yeah, one of the major files. We don't go in there like that. We do and pacman. Do we? Yeah, we do. And pacman. Go in there. Change some stuff. Control X. Yes. Enter and save. Oops. Nothing saved. So, pacman. Cool. There's also pam mac. Maybe you want to edit this. I've never done any editing in here. But where should pam mac keep its settings? If you start by changing all kinds of things here in Pamac, where should it keep its settings? Somewhere, right? So I do wanna, um, let's see, I wanna enable Flatpak and voila, where's the setting kept in that file? Okay, Pamac is, is saved. ParuConf is here as well. I see, but we have our own ParuConf, if I'm not mistaken, in our own home directory. So again, fallback. Profile, been messing with profile, I see. So sometimes I make copies, right mouse click, open a folder as root before you do anything, and I say I'm gonna try something. Eric or somebody else online said that I should do this or I should do that, and I make a copy from this or that or this or that, Control C, Control V, and we have a copy. And we try something, we change something, and we can always put this back. That's the point of the copy. Okay. Password, paru, profile, voila, resolve.conf. This is the name server, that's okay. Nothing to change. So you see network manager is working great. So that's good. Um, I saw something important, sdm.conf, right? This is our thing. Again, will I go like this? No, I will type nsdm.conf. I just changed or installed control T, sudo pacman minus S. Arco Linux, sdm, materia. Just install it, love it. It's a blue thing. It says, okay, you can do it with SDM configuration and do it via uh, GUI. GUI, Materia. Don't like GUIs. Or I can go inside an SDM and go to Arconix Materia theme. Material. Control X, yes, enter. It's saved. Next time I will have my blue login. Done. SDM.conf, an important one, which, um, as a uh, complete story, the guys on ALCI.online or maybe on Carly as well, there is also the possibility for the system to create an sddm and it's not here on ours right a folder in here in between here or in between here sddm dot d i think d from demon like here dot d dot d dot d so it will use that configuration then that's important to know that's possible as well Um, I was here. Okay. The rest I have never touched. All right, up we go. Home for last, maybe. Lip, where are you going, Lip, with this thing? You're going to? Ah, user Lip. Okay. Lip64, you're going to? User Lip. Okay. Lost and found. Well, probably what it means, lost and found, right? Media is where your USBs or something like that go. At this point in time, there is still something left there as a test. So if I wanted to have a clean ship, 
voila, it's gone. It was an empty folder. It was nothing. Not con did not contain anything. Should I? Would I? Let me pause the video. Get a USB. Voila! I opened. Um, I put in a USB, and I also clicked on it. And if you see, Arch Linux is not putting USB in the media, but it's actually going to put it in run media. So depends on distros where these things are mounted. But as long as you know where it is, so it's in run media. There you can access it. Because sometimes you need to navigate through a path, and you say, "Yeah, I see it in my file manager." But where is it? So that's the pathway where it is. Run media Eric. So you go all the way up, computer hub, run media, media Eric. And when I unplug it, let's unmount it first before I unplug it. Voila, it's gone. And it still keeps my name there. I'm gonna unplug it from my voila from my system. What else? Um, mount is where you actually do something manually. For example, um, we teach you, and as the point of our clinics, right? Um, a lot of teaching goes on in our clinics. It's like a small university. Yay! Yay for some, or oh no, my God, not really. Um, D, that's where I wanted to go. Quick, have a quick look at the Arch way of installing. It's uh, the 1st of July, I will get an ISO pretty soon now. Not yet, but pretty soon. And control find, we have the MNT. Look, mount device as a three in mount. So we use MNT to mount our system manually. It's just it's for us. And no, normally media is for the system, but now we know it's a run media. Opt is where a lot of stuff is. So these are, let's say, optional packages. It's for developers, and you see which developers uh, are here. I don't know what Google is. Ah, okay, Chrome and Earth, both of them. So these are for, let's say, third parties, but hey, what's different between the others? It's up to the maintainer, right? It's up to the developer where he wants to put his um, application. I mean, it can go anywhere, but no, it's here. So it's important to know that if you can't find it, it might be in opt or optional. The proc, where all the processes are. Let's have a look again at the, the page here. So there are lots of things. I think I should go one up or is this, this is okay. The top level. So opt, for example, opt is reserved for installation of add-on application of software packages. So optional packages you want to have run is there. So proc I've seen also somewhere. So the processes are in there, but hey, you can, you can scroll and read. Um, so, hey, all the processes we have. This one is interesting, maybe. The CPU information. So, Linux starts up, takes a look and says, ah, I find the genuine Intel thing. Family 6, whatever that means. 10,700 and A cores are available. And siblings, I suppose that's the threads because the number corresponds to 16. And on, on it goes, on it goes, on it goes. Um, let's kill some things here. Okay, hello. Anything else I sometimes check? No, only that I think. I don't believe there was another one. Uptime maybe. Go. Uptime you do super C. Super C. You got yourself a conky and if you're in luck, you see the uptime. Six hours, 25 minutes since this morning. We're running. Proc it is. So lots of pros processes. So sup, uh, control shift escape. Control shift, shift escape. You might recognize that keeper shortcut from the other operating system. And here we can have a look. One tip I can include is melt. 
if you do not close melt properly, and that happens a lot in tiling window managers, it stays there. It and you, you melt can't open itself anymore because you did not close it well enough. So you get this line here, melt, and you can say to any of these lines, forget about it. I'm gonna kill you. Terminate, kill, stop, right? And do that with melt, and then you can melt again. If you don't know what melt is, ah, super tool. You can compare two files with each other and see the difference. I've done it uh, a few times already in the video. So right mouse click, and then you can melt or compare. So processes, okay, let them do its job. It's like, it's the Linux idea that everything is a file. And that's the same, did we just skip dev? Uh, the same with um, hardware things. So your SDA, so your hard disk is gonna be here. All of these things are here, but you're not supposed to be here at all. But hey, if we go and have a look here, uh, here is here. Yeah, then it matters. Device SDA3. If the file is not there, there will be no mount for you. Simple as that. Device SDA3 has to be there. I think I skipped that. If not, I've repeated it. Um, proc we've done. Root is just the basic um, home folder. It's actually the home folder from Eric and this, yeah, I know what this, this is an experimental thing, <laughs> the builder, right? Um, but this is the home directory for Eric and this is the home directory for root, for the user root and the user Eric, simple as that. So normally we don't go in there as well, except if you are installing Calamaris, if you're installing Calamaris, you can actually have a look what's going on. And sometimes you say, um, let's do a installation. Let me think. Yeah, somewhere. Control fight Calamaris. Here it is. Use are everything you need to know about Calamaris to solve any issue. It's like 40 plus videos and articles uh, just about installing. If if he wants to click, I don't think he likes to, to, doesn't work now. Might get there another way, I don't know. Pre-installation maybe? <laughs> this is gonna be the link, voila, we are there as well. Ah, now it's loading. So it's a long, long page with lots and lots of videos about Calamaris. And why am I here again? Let me look again. <laughs> I'm here again, right, because console find sometimes there is always a hidden log file in the root.cache calamaris. So if you want to see what went wrong, and that's for people who are in trouble, who have difficulty installing Arco Linux, but it certainly is for people who are developing, who are with a goal in mind to have their own distro, what is going wrong with calamaris is in that file so that's why we go into the root dot cache calamaris quite often as developers run frankly i don't know anymore so let's see together what was it again run control find run runtime variable data okay Directory contains system information data describing the system since it was booted. Okay, files on this must be cleared, removed, truncated as appropriate at the beginning of the boot process. Okay, mm -hmm. fine. Basically, as you hear, uh, I don't go in there. I mean, it's, it's never occurred to do anything in here, ever. I don't recognize any of the folders, any of the files. So run and then as bin, where is going to? Properties, properties, user bin. Hmm, look at that. So back to user bin. That's for servers. If you want to have an FTP or an HTTP, an Apache server and all that, and have WordPress on there or Joomla or Drupal or whatever. 
you can host the website locally, design it locally, and then put it online. The sys stuff, hmm, I have to check out the sys stuff as well. So, no, never went into the sys stuff ever. Control find sys. Quite some sysses. Obviously, all the wrong sysses. If I would make a guess, it's just system. And here we have something. Kernel and system information, virtual file system. The sys file system is a location where information about devices, drives, kernel is exposed. Doesn't sound good. It's exposed. Okay. So block devices are here. Bus class, def, block. Never went into this, ever. So cool. Making videos is cool. You learn something. <laughs> okay, so don't go in there. Temp is interesting again for Calamaris. Um, Calamaris will actually use um, the temp folder to make your future future system. So it will create a folder, mount your SSDA and VME hard disk, mount it in there, and put everything on there. So we can keep track what's going on inside the DMP and it says Calamaris something long uh, figure so if you build sometimes uh, things go happen in here as well so you can keep it open like this in the corner and have a look what's going on on my temp you'll see uh, it used the temp file uh, folder and files on here for the rest I don't use it just to check Calamaris really and sometimes scripts where I first download something on the TMP and then build something and then put it on the system. Those reasons. User, that's an important folder. User, that's for us. We are the user. We can have um, user bins so or binaries again, applications. We can put them here. If we are a developer, we can change them. Well, we can add them to the list here. And it will be also in the path. So if we start typing, we'll find all these words, all these commands and applications. Some of them are to be open, to, to be edited, and you can read them. I think NeoFetch is one of them. That can be fun from time to time. So you can read how is NeoFetch created? Well, like this. All right. And uh, for instance, that's how we started in the beginning. Article Linux, find if you're a developer, you want to have your own logo, right? At some point in time. And this is the Article Linux small, and this is the Article Linux big. But if you're like, and you want to change this Arco thing into Eric, then it's done, right? On your machine, of course, just you. But it's as simple as that. And other applications, you can't change. It's just zeros and ones, and that's okay. Too bad, can't change anything, then it's not really a file. Um, okay, so be it. Include, not really, never been in include. Lip, I go in lip for Calamaris. So Calamaris is, um, has some folders and files in here. But for other times, I probably go in here as well for other things which again right so if i recognize a file i'll tell you no system d maybe use a loop system d and then system yeah here is something for the developers again so the the etc system d wait etc system d system points to things that are in here use a lib system d system and um, the original file is here and the other one the etc is just a link and that's cups for you cups is for printing and what's a second so that's a interesting thing system d there use a lib 
and I believe I have to look out not here I do go sometimes I let's say we run these things files like this in tiling window managers not that we need to change anything but it's just uh, something we do I see other things in this year as well but do not really recall if we went into that and lots of files sometimes the link is not good so these links have numbers and then you update Linux gets an update in and um, it points to three and it should be four and then the link is broken everything stops so that's important to remember that with updates these files get another a newer number and yeah you need to update everything not partially or, or something like that otherwise you get issues 32 bits i guess same thing for 32 bits so if you install elements like our steam application we have a sudo pacman minus s Arco Linux. is it meta steam or steam meta steam all right we install that it's a lot of packages they're all installed but it's a long list of packages that um, includes the 32 bits but you just click here and then search for oh, let me do it let's search for Arconic steam and then you quickly see aha uh -huh. steam let's add that come on Meta Steam. Meta Steam. Dependencies. It's a long list. And it's all the lib32 things. Probably that's gonna be in there, but this is an ISO builder, so it can be any any of the things. It's still important to keep looking here uh, because user local bin is used by us. Arclinux, 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 Arclinux. Is it our DWM? Not sure. Paleofetch is there, Spotify is here, this is here, Conky, Conky Toggle things. So there are things in here from us. So this is your folder, your local folder, user local, and the same structure comes again. So bin, include, share, local, bin, include, share. It comes again, but it's, well, we use it anyway for our stuff. And you can put etc things in here so that's going to be used as well the etc and uh, the binary eventually replications as well but bin is good enough and maybe source files nx never looked at it until now etc etc never mind as bin goes to bin that's strange and bin goes to user bin okay you share lots of things in user share actually oh my god yeah Whew. um our app data is here i see but um not that that's important never go in there but i go in applications so these are all the applications why i'm going in there because this icon is not okay or this icon is not okay and you open it with sublime text and I make an icon called Q with cap and then the icon is fixed so I've just made uh, videos uh, and a new a new one tux boot for example tux boot is a new icon I just created an hour ago so if you have that application you have now also a nice icon and that's it that's basically it why I go to user share applications Arch ISO is there for all the builders. Yay! 56. And Arconic stuff is here. Better lock screen, spices, tweak tool, welcome tool, logout, teams, all nice together. Backgrounds, wallpapers. Here are the wallpapers. If you want to steal the wallpapers of GNOME because you're so, you think it's so beautiful, then you are my guest. Go steal it, right? It's the, these are the GNOME ones. Put it on your own github or make your own package or anything like that what else mm. 
cinnamon is here. I can't hide that I have cinnamon on this machine. CPU minus X I have also on this machine. That beef is just installed this morning. To make a point in a video. Fast fetch is also something maybe you want to have a look at. Flat pack is here. Gamma Ray, something specific for developers of Calamaris. I have the, the design of Calamaris. I recommend Gamma Ray to get to know all the parts of Calamaris. Boop, boop, boop. Gnome stuff. This is something I have never looked at, but it's just some text, help text. I really want to go into detail because this is an important folder. If anything relevant is there, I will say it. This is for cinnamon, a package we need to install. And these are stuff from the K department, which means ta -da -da. right plasma or KDE. Ah, where are the letter L? Alex appearance is installed. Mate is there as well. So you see, yes, you can mix things. Yes, knowledge is required, but yes. You can mix things. Nemo was here. File manager of Linux Mint. Cinnamon. Here's Pac-Man. Okay, cool. Pac-Man. Important for you guys who want to build. Take a look at these proto builds. These are examples, empty examples. What you can do and, and, and start with. Maintainer, already what at gmail.com package name whatever version this etc and you start learning and adding things and this is your template basically this is a split one meaning never done that but it, you can make two packages package one package two in one thing and this is vcs i don't know what this is vcs sources so it's a little bit different BZR, BZR, JIT, whatever. Okay, so um, you look that up if you need it. And the key rings. Oh my god, that's, this is the most important thing of your system, is it? Yeah, if you don't have key rings, if you don't have the sign, the signature of, of the developers of Arch Linux and of Arch Linux, well, you can't install a package and of Chaotic or of, we've just made a video about Arch. Um, Linux CN Arch Linux YouTube Arch Linux Quick look, not long um, Let's do Arch Linux CN Just to see if it finds already Ugh, Google is great, right? Found it, it says It's a little bit slow But in here You'll see me make, you see me download the key rings. And without key ring, you can't install it and it will add itself here. So, user, share, Pacman, key rings. Remember that if you don't see ArchLink CN, you can't install the package. Simple as that. If you don't see ArchLink, you can't install the package of ArchLink. That's for the ArchLink guys, right? We went to phase five in our. And well learning path then uh, yeah you need the keys seem to have installed pick hour another helper and then forgot about it <laughs> music radio tray samba we skipped samba altogether i can't skip samba that's not possible that i skip samba so samba is important for sharing files and folders over your system, over your network, not over the internet, over your personal network, from PC to PC1 and PC2, share stuff. So the smb.conf 
it's here. We have another Linux one with the default from the company, Samba, from the developers. And we have one for Windows as well. So there are lots of things to take a look at. And if you want Samba, if you really want to share stuff from one PC to the other, dot config, pop, 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 my mistake, dot bin, main. There are st stuff in here that just makes your life easy. Samba. One, two, three, you got Samba. Swap file, that's for Calamaris, if you want a bigger, if you want to have Linux LTS, if you want to get the keys in. Something happened, right, to the system. You broke it. So stuff like that, it's there. And if you want to stay rolling and never install Linux ever again, you can do so by installing, well, running scripts to go from one ISO to the other ISO. So Samba, okay. Did not forget it. Sayonara music. Themes. We can't forget icons, Eric, and we can't forget themes. So user share icons. This is where all the icons I have uh, installed with sudo pacman minus s, right? Are. And this is Octopi not doing a great job at well following the the reasons and and the, the the things they say here about hierarchy there are rules right not following the rules you should have put them in high color so many of the, the the applications you install will get the stuff in here and in most themes they'll put this last so first use the icons of one then the second, then the third, and the fourth, and this will be the last one. So the developer should put it here, and it will always have an icon. And never a .png or never a .svg. Keep it simple, no extension, and it's up to the icon developers to actually make a beautiful icon. And use that one. So these are all the icons. Can we have own icons? Can we change surfing? We like parts of surfing, but not everything. Okay, control C. And then we have explained also that we have in the home also a dot icons somewhere. Where is my dot icons? Here it is, control V. Now Linux will take this one first. If I select surfing, well, maybe I should name it differently. That makes it easier, right? Surfing Eric or something. And you go inside here and you call this also Surfing Eric. And you make your own theme. And you just change the theme and it will find it. So there's a dot icons for you local, for you as a person. And there is as an, um, one that's for the system, for everybody that's using the computer system. But this is just for you. Voila. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here it is, Surfing Eric. Voila. And then you can keep messing with code, right? You can copy paste other icons inside this folder. Or you can say, I want to get rid of all that. You can change anything. Index theme, maybe. Say, inherits. That's what I wanted to say. It ends with high color, right? If the icon is not here in Surfing Eric, then go to Numix, then go to Numix Circle. If you haven't found anything yet, then go to Saturday. Did you find it? No. Go to Breeze, Paper, Pirates, etc. So, dot icons, and I have it always here. It's, it's, it's here in my bookmarks. Dot icons. Icons, themes, dot themes. Oops. Didn't know I had that. Delete. <laughs> And themes, the official one. This is for the system, and the other one is for me. But yeah, I'm the only one here. Okay, cool. So themes can be also personal. Yeah, put it in .themes. And, um, well, change the name just for, to make it easy for yourself. And you still know what you're selecting. And all the rest, oh, X11. Um, no, 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 no. 
but X sessions, that's the one I want to share as well. This, without a doubt, says what I've installed. Cinnamon, GNOME, GNOME, i3, OpenBox, XFC. That's all on my system and I have no issue for since a year or something. How long was it ago since I installed this thing? Since May 9th of 2021, what's this? Ah, it's not that long ago. Something is wrong. Well, figures don't lie. All right, now, X sessions. I, can, I think we can leave this one. So user share and then the source files. Aha, uh -huh, look at that, Linux is here. Where are you going to Linux? He's going to lib modules 5.12.13. Why that number? And uh, look at that, it's the same number as the one I have now. That's why that number, 5, 12, 13, arch, and then the rest comes, right? Mm -hmm. Those are the source files for my kernel. Kernel.org, thanks, Linus Torvalds. And company, let's not forget thousands of other people. I would just say they don't, do not exist, no. Thousands of people are working on it. Var, the last one, and also an important one. Cache, um, Pacman, packages. When I say running, building, when you build an ISO, any of our ISOs, we have a script, and it says build 30 or 40. And the 31, well, that's easy to, sh to show. The 31 actually cleans everything up. Yes to sudo pacman minus SES, uh, SCC. Meaning, if you look it up, clean the cache. Throw the cache away. Ctrl T sudo pacman minus SCC. Oh, that's not my password. Try again. Look what happens to the left. Do you want to remove all files from cache? Yep. Do you want to remove unused repositories? Well, everything is already empty, but yes. Voila, that's this, that's 30, that's cleaning everything up. When I run 40, it will be filled up again. All the packages will be downloaded. That's the, well, a sort of archive, sort of backup. Because if you install something new and it doesn't work, Remember, there is an old package in there. So, if there is an old package in there, you can do the following. You can say sudo pacman minus u and start typing the package. And install an older one. That might work. Depends on its dependencies, of course, but it might work. That's the only thing I do here in the far cache anyway in the log we could have a look in the log hmm ah here it is there is a calamaris log maybe you haven't you don't know that but when you install like linux calamaris leaves a log on your future system so you can always go back and have a look now this one is a not not a detailed one but when you install these um, new ones you'll see that it has lots of details and maybe right maybe you can share that log with us or with the calamaris team and um, we can figure something out what happens on your machine here is a cat pacman log as well talking about logs there is ventor log xorger and so on we've added to the xl something about logging we have logs and system log as extra package on the xl only and 
for us that's interesting we can have a look on all the strange things that happen on our system things that are not important but things that might be important are in there uh, as well right i mean you have to still be a human to read and decide what's important or not um this one i guess yeah this one so as you see pacman log there it is pacman log so you can either click here or you can use tools like these backpack log that's that could it be old no look at that 2020 something with my last minus f is not good let me test it again the date is not correct for some reason because yes i am rolling for since a year so i don't know why it says otherwise that's not important at all oh yeah the x orc is here might be something that's for people who can't boot right what's happening to my to my system i can't see anything i have a black screen go and have a look maybe it gives a hint of what you're what it's doing and what it's missing and it can help it can help so the locks Um, I don't think I go in the rest of these things and if so yeah I'll put it in YouTube but I think we're we covered it and it's a video of one hour so it's uh, like a lesson going to the university and one hour lesson <laughs> and um, I hope it makes sense a little bit more on the structure of course there is one thing to maybe add uh, I don't know if I said it, I might be repeating myself, but most important things on your home directory, because I think we've skipped that one. Well, besides the normal folders like documents and downloads and all that, I advise that you put everything online. Linux at first will be trial and error and you will break the system and that's okay. But you don't want to lose data. You don't want to lose important images or, or configurations and all that. Your bash scripts that you've made painstakingly, all gone. No, put them online. Dropbox is a well-known uh, website, dropbox.com. InkSync is an application for OneDrive and for Google Drive to sync. Put it online somewhere and then it's safe. For the rest, Ctrl H is important, hidden folder, the binaries you know already, to stay rolling, to have some fun stuff. Let's do a skull puke thing, always fun, has been a while since I, I typed it in. Skull puke is this little thing, always fun if you want to make some screenshots. And more, but fun stuff is cool, but there's also serious stuff, how to stay rolling scripts to fix things and to install things some people want to play with logos um, we've moved the logos to the config um, the GNU PG might be important for the keys have a look there depending on the desktop you will see folders here like uh, xmonad has the dot xmonad so it's at this level and it's not inside the dot config which contains open box i3 um, that's where you go look and read everything as simple as that start by reading every single file that an open box or i3 was in there and then you get to know the desktop so this is where all the configuration of all the applications that are on my system are reside and of course we change them and that's in the etc.scale.config that's our configuration when you do a clean install it will be all going to your future system and then you're in control again right then it's it's up to you after a clean installation you move the the bar up here or to the left uh, change icons wallpapers it's all set here and it's kept here as long as you don't do a scale it won't be overwritten it will still be your system at every day and every boot all right 
one hour, ten minutes now. I can keep talking, but I won't. Enjoy Linux, enjoy Linux in general, uh, because all the nodes you hear here are is similar, right? Is similar. Uh, things will be a little bit different sometimes. This media thing you know, is mounted in run media, but basically um, you get the drifts. That's that's the most important thing. You know where to look. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, fine, and so on. All right. Cheers.